All right, so I wanted to make a quick video on how resting works. It's um, one of the more complicated uh, rules to the game. So I just wanted to go over that so that everyone understands what to do. At this point, things aren't looking so great because we have Hildegard with one point and we have Rangitaki with three hit points. So what would be smart to do at this point is have Hildegard rest for a turn. Now, if she's going to rest for a turn, that means we can't attack. All we can do is our recoup roll that we do at the end of each turn. Now, to represent that, when we do it resting, I'm going to put a token in my rest meter to show that I've rested. Now, to rest, I'm gonna roll my dice. Now, I rolled a seven. So normally, when we do our recoup, you would get a two, when you roll a seven. So I get two hit points back. So I'm gonna go ahead, give myself these two hit points back. But then because we are resting, we always get an additional one hit point. Now, if I had rolled a one, I wouldn't have gotten anything. It would have just been a wash. If I had rolled a two, normally a two wouldn't give me anything for recoup. But in this case, since I'm resting, I always get a plus one bonus unless I roll a one. So now that Hildegard is set up with her additional hit points and she has a rest meter of one, let's pretend that with Rangitaki, I want her to rest as well. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm going to place my um, rest token there and I'm gonna roll. And in this case, I rolled a five. So if I roll the five, I normally get one hit point back and I'm gonna get an additional one for my rest bonus. Now that I've gotten the uh, two hit points for Rangitaki, what I'd like to do instead is give those to Hildegard, which is something you can do. So I'm gonna put them over here and what that's gonna do is it's going to max her out and give her you know, all of her hit points back. Now at this point, I went from one hit point to completely topping off Hildegard and I'm ready for the doorman to strike. 